This is a white themed gaming PC that I'm going to build with mainly AliExpress parts for around 670 Canadian dollars or just around 500 USD after taxes. It's going to perform great in 1080p as well as 1440p in modern day AAA titles. So without further delay, let's cue the intro and let's get to the video. This video is sponsored by me, so if you enjoy the content and you're looking for a gaming computer and you live locally to me, then click on the description below and check out the computers I have for sale. Now let's get into the content. Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the most underrated tech channel. First up, we have the CPU and I decided to go with the infamous Ryzen 5 4500, one because it runs cooler and second, it's newer than the 3600. It's got 6 cores and 12 threads. And yeah, sure, it's got a lack of Gen 4 support and way less cash than the 3600, but brand new from AliExpress for around $98, and especially when it includes a stock cooler, it makes it a really good value for the price. For the motherboard, I went with this budget Maxim B450M Challenger for just 77 Canadian dollars. For what it is, it has one NVMe slot, supports up to a Ryzen 5000 series CPU, and up to 32GB of DDR4 memory, and most importantly, an actual working smart fan header that is not the CPU fan header from a Chinese motherboard. Oh yeah, and also it supports overclocking, but you really don't want to do that on this. Which leads me into the downsides of this motherboard is that there's no smart memory access or rebar option to enable in the BIOS, and it's only a 4-pin power design, as well as having the most basic VRM design ever. So in that case, if you were to upgrade a CPU, I would say a Ryzen 5 5700X is the maximum you should go for. Then, to cool the CPU, I decided to save some money and just go with the stock cooler, except that just a regular black stock cooler won't look good in an all-white themed gaming PC, and since I watch a lot of Zack's tech turf videos, I decided to paint it white, and I would say that it turned out really really clean after sacrificing 3 stock coolers in order to perfect it. Up next, we have the RAM, and since DDR4 prices have been creeping down slowly, I decided to go with the kit of 32GB clocked at 3600MHz CL18 for just $70 on AliExpress when it's on sale. Not only was I able to get it in a white color scheme, it also gave the Ryzen 5 4500 the best performance it could get. Something else that's also been coming down in price are NVMe SSDs, which is why I was able to pick up this brand new 1TB Samsung 980 M.2 SSD from AliExpress for 80 Canadian dollars. And yes, there are other unfamiliar brands around $50, but for the sake of showing you guys that you could buy a named brand on AliExpress and have no issues with it, I decided to go with the Samsung brand this time. Now, for the last thing I was able to pick up from AliExpress, for a reasonable price with fairly good performance, I decided on picking up this Elsa RX 5700 non-XD 8GB GPU for just 190 Canadian dollars. And of course, for the sake of the white color scheme, I decided to paint this white also. And yes, you could definitely grab one locally for less, and the AliExpress card was definitely mined with. Anyways, this card on paper and from reviews say it's similar to an RTX 2060 or an RX 6600 non-XD. Next up, we have the last two things that I could not get them from AliExpress because it is just simply overpriced and the shipping cost will cost twice as much as the items. So in that case, I decided to pick them up at Canada Computers brand new. And so for the power supply, I went with this ASA 550 watt 80 plus bronze unit for just 56 Canadian dollars. And before you comment down below that I should go with a higher tier power supply, just remember that I've used about 30 of these with up to a 3070 PC with no problems and everything else that's 550 watt 80 plus bronze in my area in stores are simply just not worth the price. Oh yeah, and something that I'll be adding which I will not count towards the price total are these white cable extensions. And they cost me around 25 bucks off AliExpress. I only added them for the aesthetic purposes but they do not affect performance hence is why I'm not adding it in the price tally. Then, for the case, I picked up this white deep cool CH370 MATX case for 67 Canadian dollars on sale. And since the inside is black, which to be honest, I really hate it when companies do this because just make them all white, bruh. I decided to take some inspiration from TechSource and just cut out a piece of vinyl wrap and covered the PSU basement area with it. And I gotta say, it made the finished build look 10 times better. Then, of course, I gotta add them four white ARGB fans from Thermalrite for just 25 bucks in order to have proper airflow for the CPU and GPU as well as completing that whole white PC theme I was going for. Oh yeah, and I also had to add a $5 ARGB controller, otherwise the RGB won't light up or be controlled. 
Okay guys, so now with this computer fully built, let's turn it on for the first time. Moment of truth. Whoa! The color scheme fits really well, especially with this. And I think if I just... Oh! Now that's clean AF. With all that said, here's a quick tally for today's build. And for once, I'll only be making less than $100 profit on this build and listing it at $700. Not only that, I'll also include a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth USB stick, as well as swapping out that power supply for a used 550 watt Crosshair Gold Rated power supply because I need the 550 watt bronze unit for a different project. And that video will come out around Christmas time. But for now, let's get into the 1080p and 1440p benchmarks. So, as you can see on the screen, I'm using the AMD software Adrenaline version 23.7.2, which was the latest at the time of recording. You want to play? Let's play. Heads up! My ultimate's ready! Soundboard.
and that was the mostly all aliexpress white themed gaming pc for around 670 canadian dollars and if you reach this far please comment down below on future video suggestions as well as clicking on that like and subscribe button check out this 550 canadian dollar blue themed gaming pc build video by clicking on the thumbnail on screen right now